on, Wolfpack Nation? Welcome to another episode of Tuffy Talk here. We are excited here as we are rolling back to 2022 and highlighting our favorite moments from 2022. So basically how this is going to work. So Greg, Michael, Mickey, and myself, we're going to be listing our favorite top five with an honorable mention moments from 2022. So there's, it's, you know, it, it's completely, you know, individual based it's you know it's really just kind of depends and obviously there may be some personal you know things to it as well so but again we'll kind of get into that but the only rule what you'll what you'll see with this is that if one of us says a moment that is further down the list for any of the guys we're gonna wait so that way we don't ruin any of the excitement here of uh you know our list to come so in our first part here we'll cover our honorable mentions for all of us as well as our fifth and fourth moments and then for part two we'll do our third second and first favorite moments but again we're excited to roll back here to to many exciting moments because i know for me i definitely have two that i hope i I expect will come up but if not i'm definitely going to bring up at the end be like i'm surprised neither of these came up so uh we're gonna have some fun here so with that being said uh michael give us your first honorable mention my man so or your, honorable mention, honorable your first mention. honorable mention, your honorable yeah, mention. The only one. Go ahead. Yeah, the only <laughs> one. On my list, I had the men's basketball loss to Clemson in the ACC tournament last year. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, I mean, what? just put it out of the misery. Why? Is that why? Just get, just putting it out of the misery. Se- that season over with. That was tough. Wow. So many injuries. Yeah. yeah but three rough ACC year. wins. It was just yeah. good to good to be over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow i mean okay hey take that, the horse that, out back and shoot it huh <laughs> yeah exactly that's pretty much i think what you can define that as so yeah uh making what you got man um my honorable mentions uh it mention mentions i'm gonna give uh two here because well i'll, I'll give one here i'll give one, yeah, I'll just just one. Somebody um those. i'm gonna give <laughs> uh men's tennis finishing in the sweet 16 i thought that was a big deal for yeah. NC State, more so like I enjoyed seeing. I was like, man, that's something that doesn't happen a lot um, for yeah. State, and it's a t- and it's a new sport that we don't really talk about a lot. I thought that was a really big deal for State, so um, that's an honorable mention for me. Well, on top of it too, I mean, you know, women's tennis going to the Final Four two years in a row. I mean, again, low key, our men's and women's tennis programs are becoming two of the elite programs in the country. You know, and that's hard to argue that. So. Yeah, I uh, uh, so I completely agree with that. Greg, who you guys your honorable mention, man? So yeah, this one was hard for me. I wanted to do one on a personal note, having gone to all the football games, um, just you know doing that whole thing. That was a that was kind of a bucket list. But I'm gonna go with one that's really off the radar. Let's go with the lights that now shine bright at night at Carter Finley Stadium. The new mm, lights that yeah. they put in there. Um, I just think that's just a really cool touch. Uh, just something that added to the that's game day. One. And then uh, next year, if we do this again next year, I think my honorable mention will be the new video board. <laughs> new so video uh, board, let's keep yeah. it going. I mean, I might be the sound system. I was going to say, or the sound something. system. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, so oh, wait, now, tell- I, no, now I can actually hear our intro music. Like what? That's, yeah. that's and crazy. So you can already tell yeah. the that different- be pixelated. <laughs> yeah. You can already tell between the four of us how we have different tastes and what yeah. we're saying our favorites are. So exactly there you go but you know just having some fun here uh but yeah no and also too i mean because we had so many moments because we had so many night games so we had so many opportunities to show off those yeah. beautiful red lights so yeah no couldn't agree more uh so mine is right in actually in making's wheelhouse but a little bit different i actually did women's 10 i'm sorry men's tennis beating unc for the first time since 2013 uh so again just a big moment for sure i know uh uh one of our people that when we put out the tweet of about you know what were your favorite moments somebody had mentioned this moment actually and i was like yeah it actually was a pretty big moment just to kind of finally get that that monkey off our back and not beating him for nine seasons definitely a huge moment there for sure so uh so yeah definitely all of us honorable mentions very different uh, <laughs> you know generally except for me and making that's almost like almost same but not go. quite but same. yeah see so yeah no exactly all right michael uh what you got for number five man so so number five, I put um, any Tommy White home run because it was just like awesome. like from the first series against, I don't even remember who he played, but he had, I think he had three home runs in that first mm-hmm. series. And then like after that, it was every every weekend you're like, okay, how many is he, he going to hit this this week? And yeah, no, it was, it was fun. Fun while it lasted. <laughs> yeah. 
So can you remind me who's Tommy White? Says, I, I remember oh. number forty-seven. <laughs> I remember Tommy White. I remember 47. number forty-seven. But I, 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 I don't, I don't have, I don't, I don't have any redacted. memories I've kept in my head of a guy named Tommy White. I don't have any moments like that in my head. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I it, again, it was God, like that guy, he, he, number forty-seven. He could have been one of the all-time names in NC State history, man, if he would have yeah, stayed. But all-time names, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's in the record book. Well, there. but I mean, I think he is. I think he is, guys. I mean, I get it, but like, history is history. Like, I, he's already made history. Can't erase he's, it. Yeah. yeah no. So, but but I, I get mean, it. Sour yeah. taste in your mouth, but but yeah. you're not going to put him in the same breath as guys that's like Trey Turner or Carlos Rodon, though. I mean, no, you, no, you, you no, know, it's, can, it's so. totally well, different. I mean, lens yeah, on I mean, they but, went to a college right? world series, and you know, but that's what I'm saying is that, like, I mean, if we had number 47, especially like with this roster this year, man, dude, let's say well, I just think back. it's the greatest individual. Yeah. Is it maybe one of the if arguably the greatest individual season state player has had? That's definitely our I mean, you're, I mean, you're, I mean, you I got, mean, okay. Let, let's say in the last Apples twenty years, twenty years, right? Let's say that's still twenty years. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about like you know forty, fifty years ago. I mean, that's a good question for Justin yeah. Cook. I know that. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, baseball. Carl Schneider I mean, had a baseball. nice year, and he kind of had a rough yeah. college. To my thought, like he, but I thought Trey Turner had a nice, you know, college career. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, but I mean, none of them set that kind of records like that. I mean, NCAA records. Yeah, right. No one did. They didn't do that. So yeah, I agree. It's, it's definitely up there for sure. But yeah. I get it. Number forty-seven. I get it. So. <laughs> Darn him. All right, Greg. What? Uh, I'm sorry. No. Making Macon's Macon's up next. Yeah, making up next. Oh, sorry, making right, number okay. five, man. Go so ahead. my number five was uh, uh, again. These are being favorites. One I enjoyed seeing the most is, and I say this with a kind of like a, it's kind of you kind of laugh, chuckle a little bit, but like women's cross country or track and field winning a Caitlin Tui winning a national title like mm-hmm. she's just awesome and it's not surprising but it's like it's still gross and deserves being at least top five so I have to put that so Caitlin Tui um winning the 5,000 meter national title and then in ACC she's winning the 1,500 and 5,000 meters so she mm-hmm. is just awesome at that and I you think you could argue you know kind of like I made there with um number 47 Tommy White when he was here but uh is Caitlin Tui one of the greatest athletes in state history? Period. That's definitely. Is she so. the yeah. greatest? Well, gen, regardless of gender, is she the greatest well, single athlete? Well, I think we came to the conclusion she might be the only multi NCAA champion, champion winner. I think she is. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think, I think she. So. I mean, unless we're going She's way the back. Only player in NCAA and NC State history to have won multiple national championships. Then, yeah, I yeah. think that's I mean, something. That's the awesome. greatest of all time. Pretty awesome, I mean, right? Yeah. Now, I mean, it's of course, be. everybody's going to say, you know, David, Tom- like David Thompson is obviously the one that comes to mind for me immediately. But yeah. you know, yeah. and because especially too, if he, if he would, if, well, yeah. but if if they would have yeah, played they, well, in seventy three, they would have won had they not been on probation. Exactly. Yeah, they won I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but still, it. It, it, he, yeah. she is a hundred percent in that conversation, no doubt about it. So, and she's not even done yet. That's the crazy part. So, go ahead, Greg. What you got for number five? Yeah, man? I had number forty-seven as well for my number five. Um, <laughs> you, it's hard to argue the season that he had. Uh, yeah, like we we just talked about it. Arguably the greatest uh, freshman, true freshman season in the mm-hmm. history of NCAA baseball. Um, yeah. If he, um, if he had a, a a glove to go with his bat, it would be arguably the best. Uh, college baseball player last year um, that was yeah. a good little point there you made uh greg if he had a glove to go with this bat that's true i though. mean i mean tell me that's a wrong. great yeah. call out that's a great yeah. call out <laughs> um, it's fact so but look the dude could knock the leather off of baseball i mean mm-hmm. so there's no arguing that um but you know it is what it is and you know what good luck down in the south enjoy the enjoy the mosquitoes yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. We're we're glad that you're going closer to family at 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 that school down south. You know, thank goodness for that. So anyway, uh, yep. And then for believe it or not, for me, five is actually baseball beating Miami in the ACC tournament. Uh, kind of coinciding with uh, yeah, the number forty seven three home runs. Uh, I mean, like for some reason they kept on pitching to him, and I don't know why. And uh, but I mean, just like that was a big win. I mean, because I honestly, for me, that was the moment where I'm like. Okay, we're in the tournament. Like honestly, for me, that was the moment yeah. where I thought, okay, we yeah. made the tournament. Wah, and then we wah. went on to and then we went on to make it to the championships over big schools like Louisville, Duke, 
you know, and all these and, and Wake Forest, and yet we didn't make the tournament. But you know, anyway, again, so that would be my least favorite. Would be one of my least favorite yeah, moments. We, was not that'll be a whole nother sure. video. Yeah, that'd be a whole nother <laughs> video. So uh, yeah, no, for sure. So it's it's interesting how three of us had three of us, or did all four of us? No, 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 because Megan had cross country. No. Uh, so yeah. three of us had yeah. had uh, baseball slash baseball. Tommy White. So and, I'm sorry, number forty seven. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress-Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress-Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress-Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Anyway. All right. All right, uh, Michael. Wrap us up, man. Who you got for number four, man? Um, four, I have Turquavion Smith announcing he was coming back. Um, wow. Because at, right yeah. at that point, we had gotten all four transfers. Um, all three, I think all three new assistant coaches hired. Mm-hmm. Um and yeah, him coming back kind of uh, solidified it for me that I think this team could be really good this season, which they have been so far. Um, so yeah, I think that that was I was really excited when um, when he announced he was returning. That's yeah. definitely an under the radar one. Yeah, yeah. I want to add this too. Like, I, it is to me, it's really refreshing as a fan to have a player who loves NC State like he yeah. does. Like, yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. When was the last time we had a player who? Just, I mean, you. I mean. There's not last time, but you could tell like wasn't as verbal and had um you know TJ Warren's from here. He talks about loves it, but he's not as like you know uh, verbal Vocal. talking about how it's yeah. uh, how much he loves state. But you know he does. You know a lot of players do. It's just yeah. this guy he talks about like he I mean like he committed. Yeah, I think Keats had a press conference recently. He committed to state when he was like 15, mm-hmm. and he stayed committed through like his sophomore, junior, senior year of high school and blew up. He could have gone pro. Maybe been a first round pick, and he decided to come back to bet on himself mm-hmm. and play for a school because he his reasoning was because I love I love state, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So and again, I mean, I think there's a lot of truth to that. Now, I mean, obviously, where there are probably other things too, like you know nil money and you know trying to get <laughs> higher in the lottery picks. I mean, sure, but I mean, yeah. again, I completely agree with you. And because and I I gotta say this as well. Again, I think that you see that with a lot of sports right now. I mean, football. I mean, like. You know, we've talked about in live stream talking about Peyton Wilson coming back. I mean, Trent Penix coming back. Like it's, it's, it's obvious right now that hey, I mean, for us state fans, that you know, we we have a lot of loyal athletes right now that that love NC State, which is a beautiful thing. So, uh, gotta gotta love that. Continue with that. Yeah. So yeah, we totally agree with that, Michael. Uh, Making what you got for number four, man? For me, number four was uh, um, women's tennis winning a national title. I mean, like that's. Yeah. That's the first time it's happened for our program in doubles. Uh, Jada Daniel and Nell Miller, um, you know, doing that that was it's huge for state. And again, I I get excited about the, not just the title, but just the success that sport is having at state because nobody cares or talks about tennis at state. I mean, like, not saying it shouldn't. I think they should. Like, I think state fans should be starting to go to some of these matchups mm-hmm. because I think tennis is relatively pretty fun to watch. And it's yeah. like. Um, having this kind of success we've never had, it's like, guys, maybe we need to start supporting them. So, and winning yeah. a national title at it too, without hardly any fan support, that's a really big deal to me. Yeah. Well, and like, and, and again, like, yeah, I keep bringing this up when we did our, uh, you know, when I, when, when we did the, uh, like the dollar trivia giveaway thing, like I went into that with like all these questions about like, can you name me one wrestling national champion ever? Can you name me the star uh, athlete for our cross country team? Can you name me, yeah any head coach besides, you know, men's basketball, besides either basketball, football, or baseball. And a lot of people really had struggled with that. And I'm like, yeah. y'all, like, I'm telling you, like, you got to get involved. It doesn't cost much. Like there's a lot of opportunities to support them and it's completely worth your while. Cause I mean, again, men's and women's tennis are, you know, preseason. I, I, I think men's tennis is preseason number 19. Women's tennis is I think top five or six. Yeah, they're, they're up yeah. there. Yeah. So I, they I were, mean, I thought they were three to be honest with you, but I, I yeah, think definitely top five. I really yeah. think I'm going to start going. To, I'm going to go to some of these women's matchups or men's matchups. For Got to. Like that's that's like that's. I mean, I think it'd be fun to go to. I think it'd be good to support them. 
And again, totally it's different what. sport to go watch for state. I don't know. It's just like yeah. you don't ever hear about tennis, and it's just like boom, they're good now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's probably like what, probably five, seven dollars a ticket, you know, to walk it in might the door. Not even I mean, be that. If that, probably if that, free. If that, I mean, it's probably free. I'm yeah, think, I mean, I'm trying to think of another sport yeah. that would be similar, like volleyball, just exploding. Yeah, like, we don't really talk about volleyball, but it'd be like yeah, yeah, like they well, could just and, blow up. Well, and that's the thing too, is like volleyball, you have a coach that literally was an assistant coach for the USA team that won, you know, gold at, at, at the Olympics. Like, so, you know, it's just a matter of time until he gets his girls in and he starts to kick that up. And then softball, again, they brought in the number four recruiting class in the country the, the last year. And so, you know, that you're going to start to see the fruit of that labor this year. So again, there's so many sports got to get out there and support them. Like simple as that. It's too easy. So and it doesn't cost yeah. much. So. Yeah, no, definitely got to get that. Got to got to bring up that rant every single time we can because it is so factually true. So anyway, uh, Greg, who you got for number four, man? Yeah, Macon stole mine. I had I had the women's tennis team uh, there. Um, you know, just any time that you can get a national championship, you have to you have to honor them and you know show them some love. And uh, you know, getting that first one was was pretty pretty special. Um, the mm-hmm. other thing I'll mention about Jada Daniel is she was honored, I think it was last night or a couple of nights ago as a top right. 10, uh, athlete for the whole NCAA, um, mm-hmm. which is a, which is a big deal. So, um, mm-hmm. just to get that, that recognition, not only to win a title, but then, you know, to be recognized by your peers and, and, and big college as a, as a, as a, as a, as a supreme athlete, that's good mm-hmm. stuff, man. Yeah. No, again, I mean, I mean, think about it. I mean, within the last couple of years, I mean, you had two cross country national champions. You had, uh, you know, Caitlin Tui win an individual national championship. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And then you had uh, yeah. Yeah, women's tennis winning their first dual, uh, you know, national championship. Uh, you know, again, it's in state athletics is a great place to be a fan. I'm telling you that, like, you know, no matter what little struggles, I mean, I know we're talking about, you know, men, women's basketball right now, which is struggling, but <laughs> Hey, you know, we've been spoiled, you know, it's like, it, you know, this ain't going to last under Westmore, you know, it's, he's going to figure it out. Just give it time. So, uh, yeah, just continue to support them for sure. So, uh, so for me, uh, I'm actually going a little different. I'm surprised a wrestling moment hasn't come up yet, but for me, I'm going to go Hayden Hydley beating Makai Lewis and Reynolds Coliseum. Yeah. And for me, like, you know, a lot of people, cause I mean, uh, you know, there are other moments I could bring up for wrestling. Uh, but like for this one, the, just to kind of remind those, uh, you know, who listened in and for those that don't know, basically the week before state went against UNC and, uh, Hayden went against uh, clay lout, who was a uh, top, you know, top 10, top 15 in the country wrestler. Uh, but Hayden was like two or three. So, I mean, Hayden, yeah. you know, should have won that match, you know, no doubt about it. And he actually was controlling that match. I think he was up fairly big uh in terms of points but then mm-hmm. hayden just made one wrong move and clay you know took advantage and, and mm-hmm. pinned hayden and it really shook me and pretty much all real like coliseum like it was a like a oh my god like you know like is this yeah. guy's a, a fifth year like you know he was you know gonna go you know more likely undefeated and go compete for a national title and that was like a huge setback uh but then the next week to go against makai lewis who was you know i think a top five or six wrestler in the country in the weight class yeah, just as good yeah. yeah just as good he was a junior world champion actually uh, before he came to virginia tech and he and then uh, hayden beat makai in overtime and i still remember to this day it was probably a 10 minute standing ovation that was loud and just watching hayden just standing there and do the slow raise the roof yeah. and like oh it was it was insane it was unbelievable moment that i just i i'll never forget that it was unbelievable so yeah so that that'd be that'd be number four for me for sure so uh yeah so i think we'll uh take a pause right there and uh, again so again part two we will do our three two one moments and then we'll also kind of to kind of mention a couple other moments that you know uh, you know, if they're not mentioned that, sure. you know, that, you know, I have here, for example, that, I'm, yeah. that we'll see if they come up or not. Uh, so we'll have some fun with that. So, but with that being said, make sure again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as first of all, it's free to do. And also to really help support us. And third of all, you're actually notified on all your devices when we go live with any episodes, with any live streams, any watch parties, you name it. So again, it, it's a great benefit and it takes two seconds and it costs you nothing to do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video as well, hit that like button. And also too, uh, as well, if you have any thoughts as well, let us know in the comments of any moments that you haven't mentioned that we haven't mentioned yet, 
or you know like thoughts on our moments whatever it may be put those in the comments and follow us toughy talk now on twitter and instagram thank you all so much we'll see you for part two as always go pack baby <laughs>